Hello, everyone. I just um, wanted to give everybody an update as to um, what the AP exam will look like this year and also um, what we're going to do to make sure the resources are available for students in this shortened school year. As, as much as I hate that schools are being shut down early and that the exam is going to be modified and, and this back half of the career is back about, about less than a quarter of the curriculum is going to have to be delivered in a different way. We're going to do our best to get that to you. Um, in, a, in the most effective way possible. So I wanted to walk you through um, the way that we're gonna get the material to you um, students. We're gonna try to make it as easily accessible as possible. And I also wanna talk to you guys about the, the changes to the exam. So first thing is, um, uh, let, let's just talk through the, the exam itself. So what they've done is, um, College Board is still uh, making an AP exam available. Um, now, I will say, students, you can actually get a refund. You don't have to take the exam. Um, College Board has a splash page um, explaining the way that they've updated um, schools that have been impacted by the coronavirus. So I encourage you guys to get there. It's just on AP Central. You'll find it. It's just right there on the front page. Uh, but it just talks about that the exam has been shortened. Um, previously, of course, is what we've been preparing for is nearly four hour exam with multiple sections. It's going to have one section. It's going to be a 45 minute free response exam. Um, we don't have all the details yet on what the free response section will look like, but we're, they're supposed to get those to us over the next week. And I will, of course, update you when we get that information. You can actually take this exam from home. Um, this is the first time College Board's ever done this. Of course, we're kind of in unprecedented times with school closures and um, everything else that's going on. So um, I'll talk to you guys more about that as we go, but it will be at least um, a free response styled test. Will that be, you know, short answer questions or free response questions? Again, I think we'll get some clarification over that this week. If you scroll down, it actually shows you all your AP exams. Um, they shortened, they do not require us, let me get down to the US history, to cover the last two units. I will say, I, I, I really do think it is important to cover those two units. Um, to provide you context for what some of your free response answers will be, but we're going to do it in a much shortened way. Um, so the, I have a review video that College Board put out on those last two units just to kind of quickly move you from the 1950s um, to the 19 uh, to the early 2000s. Uh, but again, I do think after the exam itself, I would love to put some materials out for us to cover that more in depth. Um, but as you can see by these little asterisks, they actually have not set up the, the dates yet um, for when the, the new exam will occur. Um, they told us they'll have that to us by Friday, April 3rd. Um, so we are, you know, kind of, I'm gonna give you the material we have right now, but of course some of it's still up in the air that we just don't know. Um, so, but we do know it will cover units one through seven. We do know it'll be free response, which again, that's why a lot of our emphasis is going to be on making sure that, that students are able to properly bring evidence. If you're asked a question about the way foreign policy changed between World War I and World War II, you need to have evidence on the ready that you can remember, um, that, 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 you, that you can provide as to show what the changes in foreign policy were at that point in time. Um, so, um, yeah, so I, you're not gonna see, um, we're gonna give you guys some practice questions. You're gonna see, um, some old exam questions that I think might be similar to what they're going to use now. Um, but uh, a lot of what we're going to do is going to be trying to make sure that you're able to group evidence in a way that would be beneficial for a free response styled question. So how are we going to do that? Let's go ahead and move on to that part of this discussion. Um, I'm trying to, as we speak, produce this new kind of splash page on my website that will be more specific to this year's exam. By that, I'm, I'm kind of trying to put all the videos and material in the units here along the left side of the screen. I'm still adding videos here as we speak. I'm gonna add this video to the top um, once I am through with this recording so that you guys can remember what the exam looks like. And then as I get more details, I'm gonna explain how I think you can answer those free response questions. But again, I wanted this to be easy for you to go back to discussion questions, for you to find the videos um, that I produced, but also I'm going to start giving you other resources. And again, there's a lot of great AP teachers that are putting a lot of materials out right now. So I thought 
Maybe this could be a splash page that I could use. And as I find them, I'm just going to continue to add them here alongside the unit of the subject material that they're covering. Um, also, of course, up here at the top, I've got my, uh, my, my Twitter handle there that you can follow me. I'm going to try to update you as best I can. I wanted to also give you some other inf information that AP for students is a great follow on Twitter. They do a great job of updating you as to what's going on. Um, the other one is Trevor Packer. He's, uh, forget his title, he's the director at, at College Board or whatnot, but he is often the spokesman putting out materials um, for students and for um, teachers to know what's going on. So I hope that was helpful. I hope these guys in the back weren't too loud. Back here in, in Philadelphia, I told them to keep it down here before we got started. Um, the other thing that we're gonna try to do is have um, Zoom meetings to discuss the materials here as we go. So what we're gonna do with the students that are in my class, and again, anyone who um, wants to do this, other AP students are more than welcome to do this, um, is we're gonna give you some prompts. We're gonna give you some questions very similar to the discussion questions we've done in the past. We're gonna ask you to provide a, an answer with evidence to support your position. Then we're gonna come on and do a Zoom meeting um, twice a week. We're looking right now at two o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'll update you on those social media channels if that changes. Um, but come on and do a Zoom meeting and, and discuss with students what their answers were and how that would be scored and some examples that we think would be would be good to use. And then if you didn't make the meeting, we're just gonna um, you know put the recording up and we're gonna put that on YouTube and put it on Twitter and um, so that you could go back and see the discussion that was had that day. So. I hope these things are helpful. Um, I'm very open to feedback. Again, you can at me on Twitter. Um, um, feel free to give feedback on what you think um, we could be doing to help help you through this time. Again, I, I do hate that this has been disrupted for students. I know that school um, is incredibly beneficial and was incredibly meaningful for many ways um, to be there in that learning community, but I hope that we can through um, some distance learning um, through some technology here, um, help you guys get the material and help you help to prepare you. So please tell me if there's any other way um, that, that, that I can help or if there's anything that we can do to, to, to help you prepare for that exam. I right. yeah, hope this was helpful and I hope to hear from you soon.